Hey Capricorn, so these are um, Mercury retrograde readings I'm doing this week. I'm going to attempt to get something else up later in the week, but I am just dragging. Um, uh, I'm going, I'm detoxing right now, so I don't have so something to do with it. I mean, I'm on, I'm working. Um, it's just that I'm, I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm very sleepy. So Mercury retrograde for Capricorn. Magical power. Balanced emotions and Luna. I feel like karmic justice really wanted to pull there, so keep that in mind. For some reason, I'm saying seeing this side up. If that resonates with somebody, I also see somebody getting kissed. Very strange. Mercury retrograde for Capricorn. Okay, so something didn't work out. Could be with an Aries, not necessarily. Okay, something didn't work out. The opportunity is missed, okay? You might be kind of going through it uh, over retrograde, kind of wondering what went wrong. I assure you it's in your best interest with the Wheel of Fortune and things will be moving along. I'm seeing a Cardinal. I'm also seeing Kali, guys, which is which is my my lady friend. But, like, I'm, gonna go make breakfast I'm, I'm seeing it. What breakfast? No, thank you. Want to make me some black tea? What? Uh, can you make me some black tea? Of course. Thank you. Okay, working on your finances, and they're looking pretty good during this time. There is a wish fulfillment that didn't really happen for you, and you have to walk away from it. Um, could be with a Virgo. Could be a business opportunity that got missed. Could be anything like that, okay? The number eight is relevant to you. Healing from some sort of heartbreak. Letting go of a toxic situation. You're in the upright, Capricorn. I feel like you're you're just kind of moving ahead. You're just kind of like, you know, sailing. And I like it. It's You're not like holding on to too many trapped emotions. Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising. Yeah. Just kind of letting things go and making new decisions. Again, there's growth and opportunity in your finances. I would stay, say just focus on that for now, but try not to sign any contracts during retrograde. If you're looking to move or ch a change of, um, you know, whether it's a new house or even just a new state or anything like that, I don't see that working out in your favor right now. Energy changes. I just wouldn't do it right now. Losing passion for something. What is this that Capricorn's losing passion for? Someone. Somebody that made you feel kind of rejected and left out, okay? So if you are still attached to them somehow during Mercury Retrograde, I feel like you will be letting go of them. You will be sort of like letting the energies fin finally be released. You upset? Can I make this? Yeah, I'm in the middle of a reading, so... All you do is chop it up and heat it in a pan, okay? And it does get a little crispy, but you guys yes, have to stop interrupting me, okay? All right. Thanks. I love you, too. Okay. Yeah, so if any of you are dealing with the water sign, I do see you sort of burning the bridge there with them. Um, they, they may have even... There could have been a third party. I really do think there was a third party situation here. They're not healing. They're not feeling good. For those of you who are wondering, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um... For those of you that are having some sort of business ordeal with, uh, it could be an air sign, doesn't have to be, it could be air with fire, either or, um, I do expect that you're not going to hear from them over whether it was um, a new business plan or a new uh, uh, position in the company, something like that. I feel like you're not going to hear from them. So I don't know if it's, this is a delayed thing or if you're just not going to hear from them in general and they're just going to kind of sweep it under the rug. Capricorn, I'm not taking that. Sun, moon, and rising. Try not to sign any contracts. They are going to go back poorly, I can tell. 
seeing something for how it is, wanting to find some sort of balance here, especially because at this period of time, it does look like um, you're, you're single. You're single. Maybe you want to have some sort of like um, opportunity with somebody eventually. Maybe you want to be able to balance your work life with your single life. That's completely normal and it's not easy to do. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yeah, it literally just said it again. Do not sign anything during this period of time, okay? I just really feel like it came out twice for a reason. Still do. For some of you, you might be leaving a situation again, like I said, with a water sign. Um, when you guys split, they're going to expect to get something in return for the split, just to let you know, and it does look financial. So maybe you guys had a place together, maybe you owned something together, uh, whatever it is. If that doesn't sound familiar, expect to have some chaos at work with a... I don't know. I don't know what this person would be about, but... Um, obviously they're coming out as Pisces. I don't know if that helps, but, um, you might be having issues with somebody at work with the Pisces. Needing to make a decision. And you're still pulling that air side. Uh, so you have several people here, Capricorn, that you're dealing with. And I feel like most of these people are just kind of a burden to you. So maybe now is the time to start just releasing people left and right, you know, and, and doing what works for you over them because I do get the feeling like you were the one that was trying harder Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising somebody's watching you try to take better care of yourself during this period of time and I do see a tower moment what is this tower moment about Be careful of food poisoning. I don't know why. I, I have to say that. I can see it like pretty clearly. What is this tower moment about? You may have a really hard time moving on from a romantic situation, but you are going to do it, okay? It is going to happen. I feel like this whole, this whole period of um, retrograde and eclipses is going to be your healing moment, you know? Um, just focus on your finances. Be careful of any assholes at work. Um... Or people just trying to keep you down at work because your finances look really good. You don't need somebody like trying to get in the middle of it and sabotage it for you. Um, let me get one of these Capricorn for you. Get more information if that resonates. Let me get you a couple more cards since it's only eight minutes long. Sorry. Three more cards for Capricorn. We're going to end it. work on your income it's just repeating itself and feeling again like you're having a hard time balancing a romantic life or a friend life versus your work life okay it does it's saying it like multiple times you're having just a hard time like your, your focus is just on one thing Capricorn it's relatable it is relatable like I'm not an earth sign so I'm not as stable as you are um but I can't I can't seem to um ever uh, like I I'm I'm business focused I don't leave my room I cannot you know multitask I cannot handle having relationships like this just doesn't really work for me okay hope this helps